Good afternoon, my friends. My name is Lama Jigme Gyatso. This is the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditative Musings. Today, let's turn our attention to the second half of the second chapter of the Te Ching, where it reads, when speaking of the sage, Things arise, and she lets them come. Things disappear, and she lets them go. In my last class, a very good-hearted student felt a bit perplexed by that. She reported having trouble wrapping her mind around that. It turns out that good-hearted student, as a child, played, with, played in the surf at the beach. And as a child, she learned that she did not have the capacity to stop the waves from coming. She could not stand ankle deep in the water, face an approaching wave, stick at her arm and say, halt in the name of Led Zeppelin. It didn't work. It knocked her on her tushy. Likewise, most of the things we'll encounter life, defy our will. And so in the system of philosophy known as the Tao Te Ching, we're taught to, when things are coming, to let them come. And that's why an experienced body surfer, when wading through the surf, when a wave approaches, Rather than trying to stop the wave, they just dive under that bad boy. Likewise, this it, we also read in the same passage, things disappear and she lets them go. How many times when attempting to body surf have we paddled and kicked and yet we didn't, the wave passed us by? What are we to do? Are we to lose our mind? Or to decide body surfing is stupid? Are we to be sullen and sulky? Are we going to make the most of the blue sky, the cawing seagulls, our companions, and prepare for the next wave? And so we see tremendous empowerment that comes from letting things come and letting things go. And that reminds me an awful lot about dating because each of us have experienced the exquisite agony of the self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, the one that says, how can I keep from losing him or her or it or whatever we're dating? The irony is that by asking that and lamenting that and allowing that that to drag us across the threshold of insanity, we be, can become repellent to the, the object of our heart's desire. Is there a surefire way to keep a relationship? There's only one way, and it does not work all the time. What's that way? It was outlined by Dr. Seuss. Be yourself. Be centered. Be spontaneous. Do what you spend as your spontaneity leads you. Say as your spontaneity leads you. Notice what you spontaneously feel. Do not question why. Be more about the what. That is no guarantee that you'll see the right thing at all times, but it will be your authentic, true self. That is why also in the latter chapters of the Tao Te Ching it is written, the only way to truly be yourself is to let yourself be lived by the Tao by your authentic, spontaneous, centered persona. Yep, that's no guarantee that the wrong ones will stay, but it is a guarantee that the right ones will see you and be attracted to you for as long as they are your right one. Everyone's evolving, everyone's changing, and sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, but as long as someone is your optimal partner. And as long as you are centered and spontaneously authentic, they'll see you 
and be attracted to you. Kind of like when you are eating savory food, your dogs sniff you out. They're like, oh, you're eating something good, I can tell. <laughs> you can't fool your doggy, and you can't fool your twin flame. Now, it's true. There are many people of, of, of each gender who are not geared, who do not have the mind to um, give the benefit of the doubt, to see us for who we truly are. They do not have the heart to give the benefit of the doubt. They, their self-esteem seems to be predicated upon denying us the benefit of doubt, seeing us in the worst possible light. Helpful hint, that person, not your twin flame. You can love them from a distance, but they aren't the one for you. If you're a sci-fi geek and you've seen 2010, then you'll know, remember the phrase, not for you. <laughs> if not, a little thing called Netflix. I think you'll like it. Anyway, may you and yours be healthy and happy. And before I go, I want to remind you that we've got a special mailing list. I invite you to get on it. That way you'll always get all the free videos, all the free essays, and all the important announcements that you require from the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Bye-bye now.